I've defeated the SAT, let's get back into some music theory. Twelve tet stands for 12 tone equal temperament, and today I want to talk about what and why. 12 tet is the tuning system that is most commonly heard in Western music, and it is very commonly heard. Uh, almost all, if not all, of the music that you've heard is probably 12 tet. So, specifically, 12 tet is taking an octave, which is the doubling of a pitch, and dividing it into 12 evenly geometrically spaced intervals, which we call half steps, and this forms the 12 tet chromatic scale. So, each note's frequency is the 12th root of 2 times higher than the previous note, which means once you do that 12 times, you get double the frequency. So why equal temperament and why 12? Well, equal temperament is great because what it allows you to do is go between different keys or, or modulate and each key is going to sound pretty much the same because all of the ratios between all of the degrees of the scale of any given key are all going to be the same because of that geometrically even or equal temperament. The reason why we use 12 specifically is because that number just happens to be very good at approximating nice ratios or or just intonation. Just intonation is where you take frequencies and you make them in nice ratios. So a fifth, for instance, would be exactly three over two. Now equal temperament's not exactly three over two, but it's pretty close. And this goes for most other intervals that 12 tet is approximating. It approximates them quite well and gives us things that are so close to being a nice ratio that we just hear it as a nice ratio anyway because our ears are not perfect. Now there's a few intervals like the minor seventh that are pretty far off in equal temperament, but those intervals happen to be quite dissonant ones, and it's much harder to tell that a dissonant interval is off than a consonant one, so it still works. History. 12 tet is pretty recent as far as widespread usage in the grand scale of all the time that music has existed for, but in the 5th century BC there was a guy called Marquis Yi of Zhang, and in his tomb was discovered a full set of bronze bells which were tuned to the 7 note C major scale and in the middle of the range were 12 tone equal tempered bells. So maybe 12 tet is actually really, really old, but at least in classical European music, 12 tet wasn't really in usage until the 18th century. But eventually, 12 tone equal temperament took over the world, and here we are. But we don't have to limit ourselves to 12. There's other numbers that we can put there. We could put 19, or 24, or 22, or 34. Those are a couple of common ones, if you could really call them common. Uh, but but you could even go beyond that. What about taking it really low, like 5? What if we do 5 tet? What if we do 500 tet? What if we do 12.5 tet? That's what I'm going to do next video, so stay tuned for next video where I'm going to go through those ones and a couple of other ones. Very interesting stuff to be seen and explored in that realm of just changing the number, not even going outside of equal temperament, but just changing the number. Um, you get a lot of interesting stuff, so stay tuned for that, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.